All right, so today I'm going to give you a little guide for playing Solus. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you should be doing at certain points within the round with our Solus, and I'm also going to sort of give you little tricks that I like to use as well. So starting off loadout wise, what I'll run 99% of the time is the P90 and the SMG11. Now there's some kind of areas where I would suggest running the shotgun. Um, for example, if you've watched my sort of Oregon solo queue guide, um, I, I suggest using the solo shotgun there. But it all like it is personal preference at the end of the day. However, if you can't control the SMG11 good enough, then you might want to you might want to just run the P90 only, which it's not not a bad thing. Both the guns are usable. Both the guns are good. But if you can't control the SMG11 recoil, then don't like force yourself to have to. So now within the rounds, in prep phases, Solus in this current point in time, this is going to change in a couple of seasons when they nerf Solus, but. At this current point in time, your job in the prep phase of Solus is not to reinforce, is not really to do any much utility wise. I mean, all you do kind of, if you have to, is use your impact somewhere. Um, if not, then just run around and find drones. That's what you should do in the prep phase, is run around and find drones. Now, like I said, this is going to change when the Solus nerf comes in. When that does, you're probably going to be better off just being the person who does a lot of reinforcements because you don't have much to set up while other people look for drones. Or you can still kind of look for drones, but realistically, you don't have a lot of utility to actually set up a Solus. Um, so, generally, at this point in time, you want to go and look for drones. But once it gets nerfed, you probably just want to be reinforcing things. Now, what I like to do sort of like early on into the rounds is to go to where the sort of entry points might be. So generally on the steam park, people might try and lurk in through a locker room or might come through gong or something to try and like lurk up the stairs. So I might just generally kind of start around here and listen for sound. It also means I can hear people on the balcony as well. Um, one more cool trick as well, like if you come down into this gong room at the start of a round when, they, when you're attacking uh, defending office, people will just go on this balcony and start droning out here. And if you're Solus, you can see them on the drones. So one, you can call this out for your team. And two, you can also do this. You can also like rip down the barricade. And if you see them on the drone there, just literally get off and then impact them. Or you can kill on it, but you can impact them and kill them from below. Because people don't seem to know that that's destructible. So yeah, so like, basically at the start of the round with Solus, what you want to do is you kind of use your scanner to see where drones are. Um, and then go towards that area, because drones spawn where people usually spawn. Unless they've changed the spawn after the drones spawned in. So if you go to where the drones, like, oh, kill the drones, and then they're going to probably enter from that way. Now you just need to kind of play a little bit ratty. Look out for drones with your scanner. Shoot the drones if they come in, and then just play aggressive on the entry points. Playing aggressive on the entry points is great, like, is a, a great thing to do when you're defending. And and playing Solus just really helps you to do that. And generally, generally I'll do that for, like, the first 45 seconds to a minute. Um, or, or until I feel like I'm getting too pressured to where I'm going to die, so then I'll just leave. You want to do that, but not like risk your life in doing that. So if you're gonna die, then just leave. Like don't, don't, don't risk dying over it. It's not the end of the world, you know what I mean? It's more important to stay alive rather than trying to like hold them back for time. But it is good at least any time you can waste. So after that point, you want to kind of get a little bit more passive. You can either rotate back up to sight, or you can kind of just play a bit like Heidi around the map, play a bit ratty, um, and just kind of look around for drones, see what info you can gather. Like at this point, you'll be able to see people like throwing utility, breaching walls, or, or what, whatever. Basically, you'll be able to get a picture of what they're going for. And to do this, and with this info, you can kind of like talk to your teammates about it. You can kind of say like, all right, okay, so they're going to breach this wall. They're probably going to have have a guy covering that. They're going to do that. This is their game plan. So now, now and then you need to start thinking about right. Uh, so if they're going for that wall, they're probably going to plant in the the the. They're probably going to plant in the office, for example. Let's just say. So that means I probably should at the start at this point in the round I'll start going below office. Um to where it's like soft destructible. Um you obviously you don't want to run around here like this when in the middle of the round because people could be up there. But then then at that point you want to start like they're gonna start going for the plant, so you can just play from below with Solus. Um and generally what I'll do with Solus after like when they go for a plant is I'll just double impact them or I'll impact them once to get them off the plant. And then I've got another impact to stop another plant after that. So you can deny two plants. Always get as well you can just start shooting at them if you don't have a, um, any kind of like impacts left. But what you also have to be careful for is people could like plant on top of tables and stuff. So like there's um, the, the big table in the middle of the office which is like over there. They, they can plant on top of that. So at that point you want to try and like in the prep phase maybe you can make holes. On to, like, next to things so you can see on top of the tables and stuff. And then if people jump on the tables to, to hide from the solace, you can still like get them like this. If I'm on this table, I'm, I mean the hole's a bit shit, but 
you can still kind of see them if they're on the table. But honestly, like, my the best way I would say you should play Solus is not really to stop plants. Like, she's good in all the stop plants, but in ranked people don't often plant. So the best way I would suggest that you play Solus is to play really aggressive if you're an aggressive player. Then you can use Solus to, like, look for claim mores or, or, and go for flanks. Like, I really enjoy a flank on Solus because, I mean, you can see exactly what they have. If they have a claymore, you can literally just say, okay, there's a claymore there. Or if they have like a nomad or something. Or even if there's flank cams, you can say any flank cams as well. That just makes it like so much easier to go for flanks. So I, I can like, I'll do my first early round aggression. Then I'll fall back a bit. And then I'll start like maybe, maybe 20 seconds later. I'll go for an early flank and try and see what damage I can cause. And then after that, I'll rotate back again and then go for a late flank. Like, basically, just make it so the attackers have to know, not know what's going on, have to, like, get triple guess themselves to be like, oh shit, is this clear? Is there a guy flanking with? No. Okay, oh shit, I've just been killed from the flank. There was a guy flanking with. And, like, they can't know that you're flanking on the flank drones because you can literally just find them and destroy them. So, it just, it's so much easier to flank. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next